In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for Rogers. I'm actually surprised I said this so perfectly in one take, so I definitely have to do this entire video in one shot. Okay, so um, if you got your phone secondhand or you know from, it's been passed down by an older sibling or a spouse or something, and you're using the Galaxy S2 in the Rogers network, and you're not sure if yours is the actual Rogers version, you can find out by simply going to the phone settings. <clears throat> about phone and your model number here should say SGH I727R it's imperative that you have this version I'm not sure what will happen if you have a different Galaxy S2 and you try this root method you could ruin your device um, furthermore rooting your Android device could potentially brick it if you do something wrong like you, you could damage it permanently if you mess up the um, rooting steps somewhere along the line so you're doing this at your own risk. Furthermore, I am not the developer, so please do not ask me any questions on like technical questions like, oh, this is not working or that's not working. I didn't create this method. I'm just simply making this video to simplify things for you. So with that said, the first thing you need to do is actually install drivers for your um, phone. And what you should just do is go to Google, type in Samsung Keys Canada, click the first link. I know my camera's not that good at focusing, but you can follow along. There we go. Download for Windows, um, because I'll be using a Windows method to show you how to root, not a Mac, so I'm sorry about that. Download it, install it, and what you do is just connect your computer, sorry, not, well, yeah, I mean, to connect your phone to your computer, sorry, um, via your USB cable, and once you have Samsung keys installed, of course, and what'll happen here at the bottom, where you get notification bubbles, it should say drivers installing now or something like that. If it doesn't pop up, that means it didn't work. And um, Samsung Keys has given me trouble in the past, so if it doesn't work on your main computer, try a different computer and see if it'll work then. But you must get some sort of pop up saying drivers installed. Um, and then what you need to do afterwards is go to the phone settings, applications. You don't have to, but I suggest you check mark unknown sources just in case. Press OK. Development. This part, USB debugging, must be check marked. It must have a green check mark in there. You need that on. And with this check mark, replug in your phone again. And um, you should get some sort of like notification bubble here again. Keep in mind, in order to make this all work, you must have ADB shell installed on your computer as well. If you don't have the Android SDK and you don't know how to access ADB shell, I will post a video link right here and in the description where I explain how to get it done. It's really simple. Follow along in that video and I teach you how to do it. It's, it's not that difficult. Um, so from here on out, I'm going to do the rest in a screen capture because you no longer need to see the phone. So let's continue from there. Okay, um, so you must have your phone plugged into your computer with the USB debugging on. Do not mount the SD card on your phone. Don't do it no matter what. It'll screw things up. Um, and you're going to get all the files, and this is where the actual instructions are, in, from this forum post in XDA. I will put it in the uh, description below, so you, you can get all the necessary files from here. But first, what I suggest you do is go to your primary hard drive, create a new folder, and just name it something simple like um, root. Okay, from here you're going to download the files now. So you're going to find where it says super user APK. Open this in a new tab, I suggest. Do not, no matter what, do not download Donut 1.6 files. You're going to go over to where it says Eclair Froyo Gingerbread because we're on Gingerbread. You're going to download that zip file right here. Okay? Save link as. Doesn't matter where you put this. It's um, these are the important files inside the zip file that you need. Go to where you uh, created your root folder. Extract everything in there. And then you're gonna download next Zergrush binary. Extract it to the same folder. Should be okay. The, the third and fourth link, you can just ignore that. Um, there's, there's no need for that. Okay, so I'm just following along these instructions. I have done this before. My Galaxy S2 is actually rooted. 
and I said galaxy really weird didn't I oh well whatever I gotta do this in one take like I said so all, you, all you're literally gonna do is follow the instructions written here but first what you need to do is access your um, ADB shell within your computer and like I said I posted a video in the description in which you can follow along and I teach you how to get it up and running if you're on Windows XP I believe there should be something that here that says run and there you're gonna type CMD Windows Vista and 7 users in this search box just type CMD activate the first result and what you're gonna do is navigate to why is there a line there what's going on okay got rid of it and type the following commands type in adb push blah 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 okay like I said I'm just skimming along the instructions okay so what you're gonna do is navigate to your um, adb shell so mine is here where the heck are you adb paste oh man I messed up I can't re-record I must get a perfect recording okay I'm gonna navigate to my adb I'm gonna type in adb enter okay I got adb shell up and running now from here all we're gonna do is follow the instructions that the user has posted so what we're gonna do here once you have adb shell access is type in adb push and then you're gonna find the directory in which you have Zerg Rush um, extracted in. So for me, it's in root. Zerg Rush is here. Okay. ADB push. Uh, C drive. Actually, it's just easier if I do this. What am I doing? I'm doing this so like long and complicated. Copy that. paste it here okay so this is where I have my Zerg Rush file but you need to add a few uh, more parts to this line so what we're gonna do is just here they've said location of Zerg Rush and then you have to add this at the end so I'm gonna copy the rest of that paste it exact press enter okay so you should get daemon not running daemon is started successfully blah 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 and that user actually shows you what what the output should be right here okay next line you're gonna type adb shell okay got a dollar sign that's good then you're gonna type in this just paste it same thing copy the next line paste it okay so this is what I'm getting okay at this part like I said I've done this before this part it says um, it's counting like 40 seconds it's gonna keep looping for a while this is gonna take like I don't know five minutes or something so I suggest you go out uh, get a coffee mow the lawn if you're like me you can um, eat some chocolate because I'm a slob and sometimes I want to look in the mirror to slap myself because I'm disgusting and okay and I'm back from having a total meltdown and as you can see command prompt is still working as well as the ADB shell um, all this output is good now I I should have said this at the beginning um, there is a super one-click method in which you just literally press like two buttons and it roots the phone however myself and a lot of people have had a lot of problems with that method not working for their Galaxy S2 that's the reason I'm not even bothered posting that because I can't get it to work for myself I don't know if it's a good uh, issue with my computer but it seems to be that ADB shell likes to interfere with that routing method so even though it's easier and faster it's not foolproof so I, I didn't want to bother posting that this this is like a hundred percent way to get it done ADB shell has yet to ever fail me when it comes to pushing a ROM or root method um, via the an Android SDK uh, oh and I'll give you my top reasons to root your Android device at the end of this video which I should have also mentioned at the beginning but anyway let's move along so as the uh, user said this is only a temporary root method right now what we need to do here is just continue on 
and it's a simple matter of again copying and pasting stuff on this page and into your um, ADB shell. Click this. Okay. As you can see, whatever is being output here should match stuff in here. That's how you know you're on the right track or something's wrong or not, right? So, uh, next thing we do is copy this. Actually, I'll just do this. Okay, then I need to go to path of superuser.apk. Okay, so where is that? I have it here. Okay, so wherever you extracted it, go into system, app, and that's where the um, APK file is. So I'm going to copy that, space, C drive, pass to that, okay, add this at the end to activate the APK, actually no, I should just copy this whole thing right here. Remember you're not copying what's in within these brackets, that you have to find out depending on where you extracted the file, which I just showed you. Uh, copy this, paste it, and the first time I attempted this, I actually left a space in between um, app and super user, I think. It, it didn't work. It shouldn't cause a big problem with your phone, but make sure that you leave the spacing um, exactly the same as in shown here. Like, there's a space between a K and this backslash, right? You want to just cop, that's why, that's why I'm just copying exactly. You want to make sure that the spacing and everything is exactly the same. Press enter. Okay, so far so good. ADB push. Okay, this time what are we looking for? We're looking for the SU file. All right, so we're gonna go back. Uh, okay, so it's in the bin. So as you can see, this is where I have mine located in the folder. I extracted everything, system, and then bin. So I'm just gonna copy that directory. ADB push space. Remember the space is important, as shown here. And you're gonna add this at the end exactly the same. Enter. Okay, again, so far so good. And now the rest is just simple copying and pasting. No more spacing, copying directory, etc. So it's super easy from here on out. So as you can see so far, um, it's it's not the fastest root method, but it's not that hard either. It's just that at least this way you're guaranteed to get root, right? And the last step should reboot the device. Enter. Let's see if everything I have. Yeah, so far everything's good. And there, I felt the phone vibrate. It's rebooting now. So basically, your the last step should cause your phone to reboot. Once that happens, you should have a uh, super user APK installed and running. Um, so when you go to your apps list, you should you should see super user somewhere in the app list. Less app list listing does, does that even make sense I don't even know but I'm trying to aim for a perfect recording and now I'm screwing it up at the end all right okay good anyway so that's the um, foolproof method to root your Galaxy S2 for your Rogers remember you must have the exact same model which I showed you at the beginning of the video um, and if you have any questions I believe even this user said that it's not their root method uh, just to which is blah blah blah, blah. All credits go to the creator of Zergrush and the people contributed. So I, I think even if you have a technical problem, I suggest you post in this forum. Don't ask me. Don't put in the, the YouTube uh, comment section or in the, the forum where I posted. Don't ask in there because I'm not the developer. Ask in this thread first. And even then, this user might direct you to the Zergrush team. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So that's how you root your Galaxy S2 um, the 100% foolproof way. Uh, if you found this video useful, subscribe to my channel. If you're on XDA, hit up the thanks button. Log in and then hit the thanks button rather. That's the only way you can do it. Check out my website for technology news and rumors and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.